While the masses spend their days dominated by doubt, distraction, and dead ends, the masters go through their day on fire. My friend, welcome to the Fire Zone. How do you get every listing to sell? How do you get it to sell faster and for more money, even in a softening or shifting market? Hey there, it's your coach, Kevin Ray Ward, with your Fire Zone message of the day. And uh, on one of the coaching calls this week, Susie Braskett just had a great frame or way that she says to her sellers that gets all of her listings to sell and gets them to sell fast and for above list price. And this is what she tells them. You got to list low to sell high. You got to list low to sell high and you have to trust me. I'm like, <laughs> very, very, very well said. This is what, guys, I've been training on this for years, years and years and years. And I just like the way she said it. It's just like so simple. Because I've always said, if you want it, you, you can list it where you get offers that are hot and high or you get offers that are low and slow. And the way you price a listing is you have to price it competitively where it is an opening bid like an auction. But the good news is, is even though it's priced like an auction price, which means the price of the, on the house is the opening bid, you can bid up. The seller still has control over how they negotiate, whether they accept the price or not. Unlike a true auction. So this idea of taking your listings and pricing them very, very aggressively. Yes, listing them two or 3% below market value, knowing that if I'm listing a property that's, that's, a, that's a sellable listing, that it's a, certainly if it's a bread and butter type property that there's demand for, that when you price it a little bit low, we're not talking pricing at 10% below market. You don't have to do that. You price it two or 3% below market. Guess what? You're going to get buyers that are going like, I love that house. I love that price. I'm going to, I want it. And I know it's going to go fast because it's priced so good. You're going to get multiple offers. Those multiple offers are going to help your seller get more money for the house. That is the way that you win. But here's the key. You list low to sell high and you have to trust me. Now, what that's telling them is I know what I'm doing. This is not traditional real estate. This is not the way we sold real estate back in the 1900s before the MLS and before we got your, could get your house exposed to every qualified buyer in the market in less than 48 hours which is what you do now. When you pop it on the MLS, it goes everywhere, right? Everybody knows about it. They know about it within two, every motivated buyer. They're looking every day. They're getting notifications. They know that house is on the market. Within a week, they're going to all see it. If it doesn't sell in the first week, it's overpriced. If it doesn't get multiple offers in the first week, it's overpriced. The market does not lie. And this strategy, you know it, but here's the thing. What she said, list low to sell high. And then she said, and you have to trust me. Here's the biggest key for you. As an agent, you have, you have to trust you. You have to trust the process. You have to trust the strategy and know because you know you've seen it work. You just have to be willing to put it all on the line and say, this will work for you. And my friend, it will work for you and for them. List low to sell high, three, two, one, off you go. You've been listening to another Yes Masters Fire Zone video, a story or a strategy designed to help you go into the day with the fire to stay focused and productive and to get more done every day. If you want more motivation, strategy, and support to grow your business on a daily basis, join our Yes Masters community at yesmasters.com and fan the flames of your success today.